Waking up in the morning, thinking about so many things. I'll tell you how I'm doing. Not well, bitch. Pass the holy whore. Jealous of what? Your ugly leather pants? Should I bow to you? Okay. Damn it. Bad weather, tornado. Spin the truth, destroy. <laughs> Hello everybody to welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and guys welcome again to another viewing party. I'm trying to find a name for this like Bravo Night with Friends. Like I have no idea. I'm still trying to think because you guys love when I did it with Beverly Hills and you asked me to do it for Potomac now. And I was like, maybe I just gonna start doing this for like every episode because the whole review of the episode next day, it's like, ugh, such a hassle sometimes. Like you forgot what happened. If the episode was like super boring, then it's like, ugh, you know what I mean? So, and I think this is amazing. Like I love, you know, like, talking to you guys and the comments and the whole thing, you know, and watch this together. Now, um, a couple disclaimers uh, from my last video, okay? Um, again, these videos are not monetized because YouTube doesn't let me monetize them because, you know, copyright and all those things. Um, the little music, because a lot of you have been saying, like, the music, the music, I, I hear the little music, I have to put that music in the video, otherwise YouTube is not gonna allow me to do it. So, I mean, I know it's a little bit annoying, I'm gonna try to put it a little bit lower on this video, but I don't know how low I'm gonna be able to go before YouTube, you know, it's gonna be like, fuck you, you know? So anyways, that's the only thing that I was going to tell you guys. Um, so let's go with episode 2 of season 6 of Potomac because actually I'm liking this season a lot. I mean, this is the second episode. So I like the premiere. Uh, I like the ladies. I think they are going to be delivering, you know, and we are going to have to be here for it. Okay, I'm going to put my rosé. I have rosé today. A little bit more. And let's just try it. let's just get into it. Okay, now before we start guys, like always, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. It really helps me a lot, guys. If you are new here and you want to join the Verbray Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. And let's start. Let's talk about this. And let's talk. Okay, this is not gonna be like a um, tea thing, maybe. I don't know. Anyways, let's just start watching this because it's gonna be like super long. Play, play, play. Oh my god, it's like I already changed your batteries from last time. Okay. Look, I'm living for this. I'm just gonna get comfy. Oh, oh girl. Honestly, oh last episode was a mess. Happiness. Girl. Being a professor and being a commentator, you are supposed to fit into a certain box. People are putting. She's basically saying, like, I'm tired of this shit. I want to be famous now. I'm just gonna do the whole housework thing for the commentary, whatever. Fox job, nobody cares about that. Please, you said Nero's in 38 now, so that would make you 30. Oh, okay, now. Come on, math magician. Are you liking Mia, guys? I enjoy Mia last season. I think, I don't know, like, how good is she, she's going to be, but I feel that she has a lot of, like, boss energy. You know, so um, I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna um, fit very well. Like she, I think she's gonna do her homework. To be honest. Girl, that five. You want to talk about your fire box is on fire, and that's why you can't keep a man. 
She has a hot box. Girl. My dream is to be on one of these dinners. I just I, I wouldn't say nothing. I just wanna stay there, sit down and watch these girls fight on any franchise at this point. <laughs> Does anyone know what a sing sing is? Honestly, I have no idea. I know that the hot box thing is because she is saying that Giselle has um, like herpes or something like that. But I don't know what a sing sing is. Karen is not letting one pass from Giselle. Girl. What? Are you kidding me? Mia, come on. Girl, come on. Get to know the bitch. Get to know the bitch first. I remember that. Girl, so you have been holding a garage for four years? <laughs> These girls, honestly. Okay, let's be honest. I think Karen is reaching a little bit too much. Like, girl, are you gonna really drag? Oh, girl, okay. Are you gonna drag such a stupid comment for four years? Look, Giselle deserves everything that comes to after her, you know, because the whole fake relationship with Pastor Holy Boar, and like everything that she has done, I mean, but Karen, girl. Wendy is defending the same woman that wanted no parts of her last year. Girl, because Wendy knows that if she wants to stay in Potomac, she needs to be friend of the, uh, with the granddad, okay? Girl. Girl, the shade. I mean, I'm living for this. I mean, I'm just saying it's my reality. I'm so everybody. It's your reality. Okay, I'm going to say that. Or marry this man. So we take the ring back. And we turn it to Basha. <laughs> <laughs> This is one of the things that, for example, I'm missing in New York. Like, you don't laugh in New York anymore, honestly. I love when there is shady AF. I don't think it's gonna be possible for Giselle and Karen to be friends. I'm so sorry, girl. Wait, didn't she say it? exactly? Thank you. 
I mean, look, Wendy's looking good, okay? She's looking good, and yeah, she's hot. So you go, girl, do whatever you need to do. I'm here for it. I'm just yeah, like, why lie about it? Honestly, it's 2021. You want to change your whole body? You have the money? Do it, girl. I mean, I mean, I have to agree with Wendy on that one. Like, if Mia is supposed to be Karen's friend, why is she talking good about, like... But, I mean, she's new. I'm guessing she's testing the waters, you know. She's trying to be like, like, okay, who do I need to be friends with in order to stay here? I'm guessing that's what I would do, you know. I love that, girl. I told you, like, Mia, she is a boss, and that's what I'm liking about her, you know? That she, like, when you earn everything you have by yourself, I mean, respect, honestly. <laughs> These poor old men, honestly, I don't know why. Well, but this guy looks so much better than Ray. Poor Ray, he is so annoying with life. Ooh, there is there is one uh, next to my house. Maybe I will go there. Girl, I'm loving Mia. I'm here for it, honestly. Look, you're getting oil over yourself. I'll give you a call later to confirm what we're gonna do tomorrow. Okay. Alright. Yeah, so we'll talk on this thing when you're on the phone and she keeps doing her thing. I wanna hear it. Yeah, I mean, you can do what you can do everything at the same time. I'm so sorry, like. It is what it is, girl. It is what it is. Okay, but you need to educate a little bitch. Mm -mm. You are not gonna be crying when I am on a, on a work walk. That is a hater. Those things you said, now all of us are wondering what does Karen know? What does Sing Sing mean? Karen knows everything. Oh my god, guys, are you watching Shots of Sunset? Because I'm watching it and I'm obsessed with them. Yeah, it's getting fucking crazy. I'm feeling that Reza is changing so much and I don't really like Reza. I mean, I like Reza. I have liked him for many times, but now that he's skinny, I think he's becoming too bitchy. I don't know. That's thing for another video, but honestly, I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Girl, she's so happy with the fucking soap. You can find that soap on the 99 cent store. It's not that good, okay? And it's not suave. It's suave. Suave, okay? It's the Spanish. I'm hating on everyone. <laughs> Getting drunk on a Monday. 
this rosé, guys, I mean, I can feel every single one of the four dollars. Amazing full-size products at one incredible price. Sign up for yours today at factitfun.com. Get the summer celebration box. Up to three hundred and fifty dollars in retail what? value for only twenty. A box of shed for twenty-five dollars. What is happening? Okay, anyways, let's talk about, uh, okay, we have like a minute and a half. So, I'm enjoying this season. I was, uh, I, I was a little bit worried coming from last season and with Monique not returning. I was like, oh, how is this season going to be? But last season kind of like delivered to me and I'm very excited. I feel that like they're doing a good job. You know what I mean? Like, like they are bringing storylines, they are bringing drama. I don't feel, I mean, we still have to wait because you know that Giselle is gonna try to destroy Wendy's marriage, you know. But at least for now, the drama is not that intense. And so, I don't know, but uh, oh, I wanna watch this movie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this movie. I think it, I think it come out July 3rd, like next week. So anyways, um, I feel they're all going, doing a good job, you know? And I think finally, like we're gonna be leaving like the Darby's alone, you know? Like no more scandals for Michael, hopefully this season. And um, finally someone is gonna be able to come for Giselle. Because you know that that Lisa Rena attitude, like we don't want that Lisa Rena attitude anymore, honestly. And Wendy is not letting anything pass from Giselle. Like guys, she is destroying her left and right on social media almost like all the time. And she's going to interviews, she's, yeah, she's doing her homework. Oh, this bitch. I can't with Candace. I'm sorry, I can't. When I go to BravoCon, this is one of the houses that I will be avoiding because I, I, I can't, I can't stand her, honestly. All I'm doing, and now that I'm better, I'm shooting a pilot for a show that is being shot around. Hmm, it's really nice. Well, I'm doing okay. Yeah, just. Although, I don't know. I promised last season that I will come this season with an open mind. So I'm waiting. Okay, I'm, I'm not completely hating Candace. I'm just waiting to see if she can make me change my opinion of her. You know what I mean? Because the past, like, two, three seasons, it's, it has been too intense from her, coming from her, honestly. So, I don't know. But she's trying, I can see that she's trying to be a little bit more calm and under the radar, you know, so I don't know. Maybe that this is what she needs to do, like going to like, Kind of like that Dorit mode on Beverly Hills where we can barely see her. Because last season was a mess, honestly. I I don't like long beers. I'm so sorry, but Chris cut that fucking beer. Not shave it all because I like a nice beer. Yeah, look like that. He looks good like that. But like that, seriously, no. I'm working with your husband. Oh no, no. Mm -hmm. 
that's the worst thing that you can do. You need your space, you need to have your own opinion, you need to be able to hire someone who you can curse the fuck out if you need to do it. Do not work with your husband or wife. It, like, no. Look, like that, he looks good. I don't manage Candace's career, I manage Candace. You know, you need to pop off real good. When I'm watching this, I have a lot on my plate, and I'm stressed. I'm telling you, Candace is great, great. You come in, yo, you need to do your part. We can't do our part unless you do your part. My managerial style is as well. I think they both both great great to be honest. I think they're the kind of people who like fight to the end and then like fuck like crazy. You know what I mean? I think I hear someone. Hi. 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 What do you mean? Where's the I still cannot believe that Ashley got pregnant again for Michael after the whole scandal from last season, which, like, literally, he was, like, right there, he was sleeping with this girl, like, I can't. Dean certainly helped bring them closer together. They hugged recently. Cheers. 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 Girl, if you're on a show like Real Housewives and you don't have nannies, like seriously, no, you need to have a nanny. Well, like initially when I thought about a nanny, I used to get really weirded out. But then, what was more important to me was more so what's best for me. But totally. Was really difficult for me like you me. almost died last season dealing with one kid and postpartum depression. Like no, you need help. It is fine to ask for help. Just do it. You can afford it. Just get your help, girl. Finally. So yeah, we're trying to keep our conversation more entertaining and what we are working on. I mean, my sex drive is there, but it's just not Girl, seriously? to have sex. Oh my and god. Who so, speaks yeah, about yeah, sex with their mom? So, I, I can't. No, 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 no. Yeah. Shut up. That's so awkward and uncomfortable. Yeah. It's true. We don't really have sex, sex, no. But we've been finding some other creative ways to uh, keep each other's. I can't imagine having sex with a pregnant woman. I mean, I can't imagine having sex with a woman, but like a pregnant woman. I don't think we're using mild body parts. And she's being really good sport about it, so. <laughs> Please each other. We don't go looking for any other fulfillments. It must be so weird to know that your daughter is with a cheater who has like boyfriends and girlfriends and sugar babies everywhere. Honestly. Should I take another glass? Because yes, I, I don't want to drink too much. It's too early. It's like Monday. It's like 1 p.m. Yeah. Girls, that's California. We don't have a dress code. We are very chill. We can do whatever we want. Cheers. Cali Rose. Oh, I love a nice Rose. Yes, where is the remote? Girl, I can't move. I fell. 
Okay, girl, so let's talk. What is going on? I mean, look, this is the part when I think like, you know, you cannot have drama all the time happening on every show. People go like, oh, this episode was so boring, nothing went on. I'm like, girl, I mean, you can let, you need to let drama happen at their own speed. Like having drama all the time is not gonna be possible or it becomes a toxic reality show. And I don't think we want toxic anymore, right? So, I mean, I'm liking it. Oof. Oh my gosh, I need a burger. I need that burger. No, I don't want the beans. I want the burger. So good. What? Is this a duck commercial? I'm so confused. Anyways, um, what just happened? Just the Ashley thing? Yeah, like I was saying, I don't know how Ashley has been able to be together with this guy for so long and forgive him for all the shit that he has been going over and over and over. Look, I think that they have an open relationship. I think that they are both bisexual and for some reason they don't want to put it out there. It will be so much easier because then we will not give a fuck, you know? Is it, you know the rumors that Todd, uh, you know, can be, Candy Boros' husband was uh, looking at another girl's the other day in a bar and blah 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 and nobody really gave a shit because we all know that Candy and Todd and Kinky I have and they like to have threesomes and stuff so everyone was like oh yeah I mean that's that it is what it is they're probably like looking for a new uh, girl for the night or something you know so if you come here and tell us that you have an agreement that you have an open oh my god that egg that you have an open relationship, that you can, all these things, we will not care that much. But if you try to portray that you are in a perfect relationship and then your man is like going out with like guys and girls and strippers and like, then you are the one who's gonna be looking like a mess. Like you are the stupid one, honestly, okay. Let's continue. I'm the only one. I actually like Robin. I just don't like this cell. But I actually like Robin. I don't know why. I think Robin is funny. Robin make me laugh. Giselle never make me laugh. Girl. Okay, I like the bathroom. My style is more like, you know, clean and like modern oh, and nice. No, I mean, your closet is not on a housework standard. This is the first time that I've really seen Giselle's house because of the pandemic. The West Wing interior is great. The exterior is horrible though. Girl, are you shading your BFF? Attached to a house. Doesn't make sense. And then I have to the Versace. I'm so sorry, but that comforter, I mean, things like that, honestly, it looked like you bought it, like, on downtown, you know, I mean, it doesn't make sense. With who, girl? Because Pastor Holy War is not going to be bad. It kills me how Giselle is pretending that the pandemic is to blame for her relationship. 
her fake relationship with Pastor Holy Horror. Like, seriously? There is no intimate, like, he is being intimate with all the congregation, allegedly. Why? Not even your kids like him. Wow, I think I think Robin is about to like. Wow. Is Robin finally understanding the assignment? But anyway, I didn't hurt the kids. No, my candy pants. I'm trying to stand this up. How? I mean, why? Why does Karen need to apologize? want to do shit. He wants to die in peace. He wants to go. Go to the lie, Ray. Go to the lie. Karen is full of life and look this guy can't even they can barely move. He's about to go to Florida and throw himself to the crocodiles. He's like oh there's going to be a party? Okay. Girl, I need another one. Let's be honest. Girl. Do you think, guys, that there is going to be a way for Karen and Giselle to be friends ever again? I think they're just going to take two down. But I feel that Giselle is just very embarrassed because she was caught on a lie. My thing about that is, what do you do with a wounded person? Do you shut them out? But it's not about Giselle at the end. I mean, well, a little bit. But at the end of the day, it was Pastor Holy Horror, the one who was uh, swinging his thing around the congregation, like Monique said, you know. So, I would like to use that if I was, if I had been Giselle, to be like, oh, for me, I felt so, um, you know, use or whatever, instead of keep defending Jamal. Like, nobody cares about Jamal. Candace is concerned, while our relationship is strong, 
dream is not broken. Right. But she's invited to just show love. That's you know, it. That's what I'm Girl, she's not gonna come. Crazy, crazy, yeah. As long as I have your love and support, I'm good. Exactly. Right. Yeah. You know, you just okay. Right. Yes. I love you. Yes. Coming up next. My life is like a flat I want to have a good job. And you know what? You all have something to live for. What? Well, yeah. Oh, well, there isn't such a thing as too much top shit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I feel like Giselle is just running this too much at this point, okay? She was caught on a lie. Okay, we all knew after all the evidence, after the all other like girls and kids came forward that Pastor Holy Whore was sleeping around on the congregation. He is going around with all these girls allegedly. He has all these, you know, kids. Ooh, I wanna watch this movie guys. I wanna watch this movie so bad. Is I think it's gonna be so good, and I love I love Jennifer Hudson. Yes, I love Jennifer Hudson. I think this is going to be a great movie. Anyways, um, I feel that uh, Giselle is just deflecting instead of like being truthful to herself and being like I got played because that's a possibility. Maybe the relationship was real for her, but he was just using her to be on TV. That's a possibility, you know? Um, but anyways, instead of using any of these, she is just deflecting and trying to go on camera and being like, oh, she is so, she's so fake. Girl, it's, it's not about being fake. It's not fake information. Like the proof is right there of all the shit that Jamar was doing. I don't know. Am I the only one thinking like this? I don't think so. What is this bitch doing? Really? Or you promise I'm gonna go away for a tea? A green tea? The new City Custom Cash Card, a different kind of card that rewards Rashida and Dan for their spending is trending. Just ask fifth class this week, Rashida. Yeah, no pain, no gain, okay? Yeah, I know, it's just, hello? Claire? What? Fire? Or always road tripping on empty day. I told you this That's me. The light was not even on. No, it was on. What? With the new City Custom Cash Card, it pays to be you from Fitness Club Gap. Oh, guys, I'm so tired. I just came from walking, you know, I'm going out to walk every morning, like, like, you know, like exercise walking, you know, and I'm so tired right now. What is this? Oh, anyways, um, I completely forgot what I was about to say. No? Gone. Gone with the wind. Because I have no idea what I was about to say. Anyways, um, yeah, so uh, talking about Robin, there is something about her that I have actually liked for a very long time. Yes, she is very up Giselle ass constantly. But I feel that if Giselle was out, maybe Robin will like flourish. You know what I mean? Okay, oh, look. Finally, we're watching something about Wendy's family. You know, I have to say, after everything that has been happening with Wendy, um, I'm not sure if many of the reports, not only from Eddie, but like other like tea that has been spelled about her and, and, and the family, if it's like as true as they say, I don't know. These are just Nigerian cuisines that we love. And I never get to make them because you know my American friends can't eat it. It's too spicy. So how have you been? Yeah, girl, Americans, they don't know how to eat any spice. You know what? My breath is like a flapjack. Do you want me to share you? 
Go, mom. Of me changing my career. Yeah, do it. Know whether or not being a professor is what I want to do. Don't scare me like that. But she's okay with me getting my boobs done. Ain't that some? But it's show it's never too late to change the cycle and yeah, it's moving forward. I want to start exploring what does that look like for myself. I want to have a good job, and you know what? You all have something to pay for. Yeah. Well, you want to be famous? You want to be famous, little bitch? Then you're gonna pay for my book job. I love what I do, but I don't know if it's what I'm passionate about. I feel bad for Eddie because maybe he's missing his family. Look at his face. You know, you know that his family is the one who is not talking to him or her. You know, and they don't like Wendy at all. Girl, what are you gonna do now? This is candle. Ugh, really? Are you really gonna start selling candles? She is so over her career as a commenter. I think she was one of those. Look, I understand because I'm also, you know, a son of immigrant parents and they always want you to be like the best and you just want to do whatever the fuck you want to do like I'm doing right now, you know you know guys that I am a, an industrial engineer and a biomedical engineer but I don't give a fuck about that all I wanted to do was being an actor here in LA but I still went to college for seven years I think Wendy's doing that. I think she never wanted to have four degrees on all, or all that bullshit. I think she wanted to be famous. I think she wanted to be on TV. And now she wants to sell fucking candles. I don't think she's gonna become a millionaire from candles, honestly. I think you already need another thing. But explore your name. Explore your name because that's what you have right now and this is the time because you don't know how long you are going to be on housewife So exploit that time sell everything that you want to sell I'm liking Wendy this season a lot
I mean, I am feeling uh, less of a division this season than has the season before. I had a little bit same thing in Atlanta as a jail in New York. The same thing thing was a stretch. I just thought it went well with hot box. Nah. She's trying to fool us. I mean, she she meant something, and now she's backtracking. Someone please find out what sing sing meant means. Honestly. The baby's like, who's this bitch? are happening um, you're gonna be seeing more of me here in my house um, it's gonna be good uh, Bravo Chela is coming back I know a lot a lot a lot a lot of you have been asking me about Bravo Chela I just have to take a break because I I am I'm still am figuring out the future of my channel not like I'm gonna stop doing it, but like how I'm gonna to evolve. So I already make a whole bunch of decisions and it's going to be good guys. We're gonna be moving now that we are at 16,000 followers, we are on our way to 20,000. So we definitely need to move on the right direction, right? So I'm, I'm excited about that. I think it's gonna be good. And I'm excited to bring you guys on this journey with me. And 
a lot of changes are coming, okay? Uh, I'm gonna be finishing my series, Do All Fans Think the Same? Because we still need to talk about New Jersey, Salt Lake City, Vanderpump Rules, Southern Charm, Shots of Sunset. So I'm still gonna be doing, I'm gonna finish that series. I have a couple new series coming that are gonna be super excited. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy for what is to come um, for us together, guys, and the Broadway troupe. Uh, because I'm, I'm evolving and we are going to evolve together. I don't know what I'm... Girl... I'm... Okay, so I'm a little bit like concerned about the future of New York and Atlanta. I don't know what is going to happen there. There is so much tea. Guys, if you haven't watched all the videos from New York and Atlanta, go after these to my playlist. You can go to the Roni or the Real Housewives of New York City playlist or the Atlanta one and watch all the videos because it is a lot that is going on. And I mean, I'm worried for them. Eating, eating, leave this poor guy alone. Oh my god, did this bitch throw the Ferrero Rocher? Oh yes, Robin needs to find her own voice. They're always eating, and everything looks so good. They're so over her. <laughs> She's so, she's pretty. It's so weird that people who are so mean to other people can actually be good parents sometimes. Like I have seen it on several housewives. I mean, they can actually be good parents and then be a horrible people with other human beings. If he's a pastor, say no. I'm gonna give y'all a story. So there's a guy that I was dating right after college, mm -hmm. the gang member. Did you go on drugs with him to play drunk on the What? Oh my god, no! Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about rappers. The best. No. Ew, no, bitch. You don't you don't wanna mess with a rapper, with an athlete. They will always cheer you, girl. Or be crazy. Look at the Kardashians. Look at the Kardashians. <laughs> She's being destroyed by her kids. Probably tell them too much. Yeah, cheating on you 21 times. Sending you to literally a mental institution. You and dad just gonna be you and dad how y'all used to be? Okay. Grace is more concerned about learning how to drive a car than what I'm doing and who I'm doing and how I'm doing it. 
That's all I have for you guys. Just take a little bit of my advice. We're not taking We need our advice. We need us. We need us. We need us. I finally departed. I'm over this episode. I'm tired. Oh, another old guy for Ray. At least they can talk together or something. Although this one seems to have more energy. Poor Ray, look at this. Poor Ray, he, got, he already gave up on life. Sorry guys, the camera just stopped and I was like, what is going on? I still have 26 minutes to film and I still have 12 minutes here. I'm hungry. A bitch is hungry. What should I eat? Ugh. I can't eat anything. Okay, so let's talk about what is happening. Um, I do feel that there is going to be a way for Karen and Candace to be friends again. I do feel that maybe, maybe there is a way for Candace to be able to be liked again by the fans. I don't know. I feel there is some change in her. I, I think maybe when Monique dropped her, do something to that, to the one neur neuron, neuron. That, how you say that in English? Neuron? Well, to do that one brain cell that she has, you know? So maybe it did something inside and it changed the way she's behaving. And I see her a little bit more humble this season, a little bit more down to earth, you know? So cautiously, one day at a time, one episode at a time, we'll see what is gonna happen with Candace. But I can see how she could like come back from the dark side now Giselle on the other hand I don't see I mean I feel that there is no coming back for her like I think she's just already so used to thinking that she is like the center of the show and you know that she's in chat room so she must believe that she is untouchable you know and I'm like oh girl I mean Honestly, we need to see, I feel that we need to see like more realness from Giselle, you know, like I think she's being too fake and, and, and she was caught on a lie and now she's trying to, you know, um, she's trying to uh, make everyone take her side, you know, but instead of just saying like it was a lie, or maybe he was lying to me. 
You know what I mean? This guy is so cute. I love a dad bod, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, um, what is this bitch doing? Oh, is this one? I like. I wanna hear this. Is this like, if you are dying, if you have like increased rate of depression, like suicidal thoughts, like I, I really, bitch? Are you gonna take that pill? Headaches, like uncontrollable muscle movement, like bitch. Yeah, show more of you at the hospital. This is a show that I have never watched. Maybe I need to start watching Married to Medicine. Uh, guys, did you watch what this little bitch, Michael Rappaport, had to say? Defending Erica Jane? Comparing Free Britney to Erica Jane? I can't. Come on, come on. You can you can you can go forward with this. See, I mean there is love there. There is love there, honestly. See, there is something about Candace different this season. Ashley hasn't stopped eating since she put a foot inside the house. Get your food, girl. Get your food. Wendy is not Wendy. She is learning. She was like last season I was boring AF. This season I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna call everyone out. I'm not gonna let one pass. I mean. See, like when is that like, it's like your fate, your fate, your fate. You should have done it with a I feel that maybe Wendy is threatened by Mia, that maybe Mia is gonna like push her aside. Woo! 
She's not gonna let this go because no one knew you from the little like fox whatever thing you were doing, okay? So now that she's getting here, she's not gonna go anywhere and she's gonna do whatever it needs to be done to stay here for as long as she can. So, and I'm here for it, honestly. I'm here for it. Now Mia, the thing is like Mia, she is a boss bitch, okay? So you don't want to mess with Mia. This is going to be interesting, guys. I mean, I can see like bands forming, you know, and side people picking sides. And this is, I know, I mean, I think there is not going to be any dragging this season, but like the drama, I can feel building it up, you know. Uh, but I don't feel that, I don't think, I don't know, I haven't heard anything, but I don't feel like Mia and Wendy are gonna be enemies actually. I think they will be such a powerful couple, a power couple, if they talk and they realize they can take over this franchise and let some people go. You know what I mean? Let's see, I mean, we'll have to wait and see what is going to happen, but um, I'm here for it, for all of it. I'm, I'm like question like I'm like wondering when this whole thing with Eddie's husband I'm with Wendy's husband is gonna start because that's where like uh, drama is gonna start being like interesting you know what I mean oh girl we're almost done so much so many commercials and you know what the worst part is? I'm paying for a, like ad free thing and it works with everything in Hulu except live TV. Like what's the point then when like all oh, Bravo it's going to be always live TV? What's the point on paying extra for the non-commercial chef if you're having all this amount of commercials? Girl. I don't think Erica even invested on that mascara. All right, so 30 seconds, 40 seconds. It's so hard to keep talking. <laughs> How do I? Totally. We totally need it because that group is fucked up right now. Why are we that group? In all the shots of sunset at a special time next. Only on Bravo. Only on Bravo. Bravo, I wanna war with you. Look, Wendy is threatening AF. You can see it on her eyes. Get your foot done. Get your eyebrow done. Get your knee done. I don't care. Okay, so you got rid of the office. We're good. No, I'm going to be talking to us. I have my husband. I have my car. I have my kids. You have my food. I have my car. I have my kids. I think she's too. But I have it in life. The fact that Wendy is 
go completely straight out of shape. Literally. Exactly. Exactly. See, Mia, she's fucking smart. She gets it. That never ends up well. So both of you are going to write your answers down, but there's no conferring. And then you just show them at the same time. Yep. Right. All right, Mary, folks. What is his favorite sexual position? Oh. How do you spell it? Girl. No. Ray is like <laughs> on the other room when she's not talking to me. Me on top. Yeah. Cowboy, ride that bitch. Girl. <laughs> Ooh, doggy style. She likes to her her to be pulled. I can see that. Missionary. Okay. Well, I don't think he can do much anyway, so. See how she's already controlling him? Why are you so insecure? Let him play! Be careful because Giselle, she will steal your man. Katie! Okay. 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 Okay.
I mean, I'm gonna be reading all of your comments down below, but like, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I already, I already talked too much uh, this this video. Let me know everything in the comments below, guys. And like always, um, I will be doing the next one probably New York next week, and then Beverly Hills. So I will see you again on the next uh, viewing party or whatever I'm gonna call it because I, I don't know yet. And like always guys, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Guys, I'll see you around. Thank you for being here. Thanks to all of you. Thanks for all the super chats. Thanks for all the support. Thank 